Hey guys, Raphael here, amigos, aquí Rafael. As you can see, I have uh, three little pieces here. Tengo tres piezas aquí that we need to fix here. Different kinds, and this guy's heavy and tricky. Esto está pesado y interesante. Okay, so this guy here, este, se ve que ya tenía un agujero ahí y acá. Looks like, I don't know, uh, there's a hole here already. So I don't know if it was, uh, it was, uh, you know, someone tried to repair it yet or not. I have no idea. But either way, whatever was here, wasn't enough to hold it. Lo que había aquí adentro no fue lo suficiente para detenerlo. So what we're going to do is actually drill a little bit more. Vamos a hacerlo más grande. Okay, so uh, normally, normalmente lo que hago, what I do is I actually... Uh, carve out a trench right in here like this normalmente le hago una zanja aquí so i can just place in the rod inside here uh, para poner el metal así nada más encima and then we just cover it with putty and and work it sure it's a lot more work but sometimes it's easier than trying to you know get these holes perfectly aligned uh, es más trabajo así pero a veces es más difícil tratar de hacer los agujeros que, que coinciden perfectamente. I got lucky here. Uh, tuve suerte en este. Uh, because uh, it worked out pretty good. Sí, resultó este. So, okay, got so we're just going to use 5 minute epoxy for this. Vamos a usar 5 minutos pegamento. Equal amounts. Partes iguales. All right, we'll let that dry. Vamos a dejar que eso se seque. Now this one here, ahora este. No, this is what I'm talking about. This is a little bit different. Este es lo que hablaba yo, es un poco dif diferente. If I drill a hole here and here, they might not, you know, <laughs> be perfectly aligned, because I'm not good at that. Tal vez no estén bien alineados, uh, ya que no soy tan fregón en eso. So what I'm gonna do is actually glue this with crazy glue. Voy a pegarlo con cola loca. And then I'll add the rod. As you can see, I also uh, did a little ditch around the seam line where it was glued. And that's because I feel instead of just covering up with putty on the surface part of it, you're actually getting more putty into this area to reinforce it. Uh, le hice también una zanja alrededor donde estaba pegado para que en vez de nada más ponerle pasta y, y sobre encimita nada más, así al menos agarra un poco más de fuerza a uh, todo. Crazy glue, cola loca. Okay, now that this is hard, I'm not just going to leave it like that and paint it. Ya que esto está uh, duro, no nada más lo voy a dejar así y pintarlo. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grind this area a little bit around the glued area. Voy a, a, a lijarlo un poquito y ponerle pasta. And, put, put. and for this, I'm using the epoxy sculpt. Estoy usando el epoxy sculpt. Esa pasta. Equal amounts. Partes iguales. And you smooth it out with some water. Se desvanece con agua. The brush was kind of stiff, so it's helping me create the the wood detail. La brocha está un poco tiesa, así que está ayudándome a hacer la forma del, de la madera. And we want to push this putty in. Vamos a pachurrarlo adentro. Get nice coverage everywhere. Okay, now this one is heavy and it's going to be interesting. Este va a estar medio interesante. What I'm actually going to do is drill something here. Well, I'll set un agujero aquí. Put a rod through here so it'll just be floating. Un fierro, no sé cómo se diga, que esté flotando aquí. I will glue this with 5 minute epoxy. Voy a utilizar el pegamento 5 minutos. And that should hold it, but uh, what I'm actually going to do, since it's hollow, ya que está hueco, lo que voy a hacer, is when that's done, I'm going to turn them around, lo voy a voltear, 
drill a hole right here, hacer un agujero aquí y llenarlo con resina and fill it up at least to here of resin. That way it will be nice and solid in this area. So let's get that going. Así que vamos a empezar con eso. Okay, I actually drilled a lot of holes in here. Uh, hasta puse mejor más agujeros. So that way when I pour in the resin, it will grab into there. Uh, theory. <laughs> uh, sí, sí, cuando le meta el, el, uh, la resina, o sea, menos tiene donde agarrarse más. And I'll just put these nails wherever. Okay, I went ahead and drilled the hole first. Ya de una vez le hice el agujero, just in case. Five minute epoxy on the nails. Cinco minutos de pegamento. Los, en los clavos. Okay, I'm going to mix the resin. Voy a mezclar este, la resina. And I'm using the uh, Smooth On Cast 300Q. Hmm. Might not be enough. We will see. Tal vez no va a ser lo suficiente, pero vamos a ver. Okay, so. Aquí está. There it is. I filled it up to the top. It actually took more than I thought. Era más de lo que me imaginé. But uh, the resin is now up to here. Here's the crack. So you, aquí es donde estaba quebrado. This is where it was broken. So now you have all this solid resin. So that should be enough support, hopefully. Esperemos que eso sea bastante, whoa, soporte. Well, my airbrush messed up. Ya mi este aerografo ya se fregó. But I need to finish this. It's very important. So I'm going to have to use brushes. Ya tengo que terminar esto. Es muy importante. Así que voy a tener que usar brochas. I'm sealing the paint, lo estoy sellando, just so when I put the other color, it doesn't, you know, mess that one up. Estoy sellando para que cuando ponga el otro color, no se, se mezcle. Alright guys, so this guy's done. Aquí está este, ya está listo. So it's nice and solid, I hope so. Ya está sólido, así que ojalá. Resulta. So hope it works. Okay, this one's gonna be a little harder because I prefer an airbrush. Yo prefiero el audiografo, pero con brochas. Vamos a ver. We'll see what we can do with this. Okay, so this one's done. I sprayed it and sealed it. Okay, I'm working on this guy. Vamos a trabajar en este. Right, guys, so here we have it. Aquí está. All done. Espero que hayan aprendido algo. Hope you learned something. Till next time. Hasta la próxima.